The Lord will do great things today. Amen. We meet every one of us at the point of our needs. Amen. Amen. Glorious things will happen to each and every one of us today. Amen. Amen. Let's have a word of prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, we turn all the glory to you. We thank you because of your power. We thank you because you are the God of the whole universe. All power belongs to you. Nobody can challenge your power. You are the God Almighty. The Bible called you the God of all flesh. And the Bible said there is nothing too hard for you to do. Oh Lord, our God, we have come before you from different places. Oh God, to gather before you in prayers. Father, you said in your word, those who sought you, they will never seek you in vain. As we seek you this afternoon, or morning, depending on our time location. Father, I am praying. You give us a promise, and I know you cannot lie. You said where two or three are gathered together in your name. You said I am in the midst of them. Father, I know you are in our midst. Oh, Lord, our God, glorify yourself. Amen. Glorify your name. Amen. Come down. Amen. Oh, my, father, my father, my father, the chariot of heaven and the husband thereof. Oh Lord, I am praying, oh God, whatever has held down anyone, whatever tied at our lives, whatever handicapped us, whatever chain that is upon us, oh Lord, I pray wherever anyone is tied down, in the water, in the sea, in the tree, in the air, on the land, in the area, in the compound, in anywhere. Oh Lord, the God of vengeance, I pray you will show up. Amen. I pray you will appear there. Amen. Every chain that is holding your people down, every ancient chain, oh. in the name of Jesus, ah, Father be glorified. Amen. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Beloved, today is going to be very great. Amen. Wait a few minutes before I will hand over to Pastor Matthew. Listen, beloved. The Bible says, more two or three. three. Are gathered together in my name. He said, I am in the midst of them. Don't bother, don't even allow your heart to trouble you. God is in our midst, and God is going to glorify Himself. Very quickly, let me take our text from the book of Psalm, Psalm 94. From verse one. one, the Bible tells us there. Oh Lord God, that was, that was the, the cry of the family. He cried. He said, "Oh Lord God." That is the same way we are going to cry this morning or afternoon. He didn't stop there. He did not look up to that Lord God. He did not say to whom vengeance belongs. He repeated it the second time. He repeated it the second time. He said, Oh, God. This was a prayer. A prayer that was coming from the heart. Not a prayer that was praying, no. And we are busy doing one thing or the other. This man was consecrated. This man was devoted. 
His eyes were on them. He yeah. was not praying and cooking. He was not praying and doing one thing or the other. He was focusing on them. The one that can change the situation. The one that can turn his life around. He said, Oh Lord God. At another time, he said, Oh God. To whom vengeance belongs. Oh, the next statement is what baffles me. Is what interests me. He said, Show us. He said, Show yourself. Ah, hey, my God. My God, my God, my God, my God. I see a man, a man that has been suffering. Let me tell you, beloved. I think last Sunday, this last Sunday, somebody met me in the church. He said, no, it wasn't on on Sunday, it was on Friday, Friday before the Sunday. He came when we had a vision. He said, sir, I want want to to see see you. you. He said, look at me. He said, do you know my age? As I look at his hair, I saw gray hair. I said, gray hair. I saw gray hair. And I know this man is elderly. He said, do you know? Do you know I am? Do you know I'm not married? I don't have a house. I don't have a job. I am squatting with him. He said, sir. What kind of life am I living? He said, what kind of life is this? And I call myself a Christian. And I'm serving God. And people will see me coming by me. And I go to church on Sunday. I'm not saying no. I'm not smoking. I'm not humanizing. I don't do evil. I just keep serving God. Irrespective of what I'm passing through. As you have seen it, I was feeling pain. In my heart, that a man like that, that, that age, age, I don't know how old is it, whether it's 53, whether it's 57, whether it's 57, whether it's 57, I don't have a job, I don't have a house, I don't know what is all with me, he said, I don't understand my life, he said, I don't understand what is going on, he said, sir, I need deliverance, please pray for me, please deliver me. I think I'm a puppy. My heart was bleeding. And I was saying, God, look at this, Lord. Look at this situation, Lord. It is not beyond what you can handle. It is not beyond what you can handle. I am not having things to come. When I come to such situation, and I look at the condition, and I know women cannot handle this. I know men cannot handle this. I will bring that one to the Lord. I will say, Lord, you can handle it, Father, you can handle it. You can handle it, Jesus, you can handle it. No matter the problem be for you, Jesus, you can handle it. You can handle it, Father, you can handle it. I came to tell you, the father is going on in your life. God can handle it. He will handle it. The one with the old van, he will handle it. The one with the sister does not have medical solution. He will handle it. The battle that started from your village, he will handle it. The old man behind your case, the one that said he will not answer your matter, he can handle it. We will have gone with that problem. Like the man that was buying bomb blood in the book of John chapter 5. God can handle it. When you have this health challenge, there is a particular problem in your body. There is a particular ailment in your body. And you don't even know what to do. You cannot do what to do. Medicine does not have solution. And you are dying. And you look at it. I can't tell you. 
God will handle your matter. In the name of Jesus. Today we begin to pray the prayer of this morning, or this afternoon, or this evening. It's not what no man should be. I want to pray with you. Anyone you know, that is something to put in the situation of the other. Please, they were held up by a man that was stronger than they are. They were they held up by the devil. The devil has made up his mind. Who is this God that should let you go? Ah, oh, when the God of vengeance, when he had that statement, he was in heaven. And he talked to him in the present God. The God the Bible told us that he is in heaven and he put school on earth. When he had that statement of a man, a man made a man, he was confronting the God of earth, then the God of vengeance arose. And he saw God. And he said, No, I am going to teach you a lesson. A lesson you will not need to see. Because after today, you will know that there is a God in Israel. You will know that there is a God in heaven. And God decided to teach you a lesson. Do you know what God did to do? God said to say, not fear to our cover. I will make you an example. An example to the world. An example to other nations of the world. They will know that there is a God. God decided to see the world. He said, Moses, let me start with this. All the serpents of the Egyptians. The Lord of Moses. He said, Moses, we have put the rod down. The rod returned to the serpents. And it was exactly. The rod of Moses became a serpent. And he swallowed the Egyptians. He asked them all, My father, my father, my father. The servant of heaven and the earth men the earth. Everything that looked like a serpent, biting like a serpent. They want to enter the life of this sister. They want to enter the life of their brother. The battle in that family, the battle in that way, the battle in that over, the battle in the children, the one you cannot handle. I pray now, after the end of uh, Moses, what happened in that time? What happened in the time of Moses? Oh God, I pray, every serpent and scorpion in the life of your people today, every battle that is too hard for them to handle, I command in the name of Jesus Christ, my father, be so much more. My father, my father, my father. Beloved, something is going to happen now. We do not have much time. We want to begin to pray now. But let me tell you, let me see what happened to him. When the God of vengeance arose, you know what he did to him? He sent the first plague. He saw the water of his blood to red, to blood. And the water is blood. Let me tell you something. As you begin to pray now, God will turn the world of your enemy upside down. The children of God are operating from. Stop listening to Christ. In the name of Jesus. That's the name of your body. You will look for it, you will not see it. That bondage in your life, you will not see it. Whatever is the problem in your life, whatever is the challenge in your life, my father, my father, my father, 
the child of the child and the husband thereof. Listen, sister. Listen, brother. brother God is going to show up in that village, village where they gather together to hold a meeting. And they concluded the matter. And they have said to the office already, the God of Benjamin, the God of Benjamin, they will show up in that village. Maybe they took that decision many years ago. They took that decision many years ago. They, years ago. they settled your matter in the beginning of that year. And you look at your life. Your life was not before. They turned your world upside down. You were doing well for many years before. And otherwise, you were doing well. How many words you were doing well? The Bible says, when men said, the enemy came on the foot Every plantation of darkness in your life will touch fire. In the name of Jesus. Yes, whatever I my father, the father of heaven and the earth and the earth. Every neck off, every chain, every chain, every way, find you, find you down, find your hand, find your head, find your family, find your husband, find your wife, find your daughter, find your children. Yes, I command now, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, the name that is above the world, the name that is above the world, the name that is above the world, the name that is Yes, my father, my father, my father, the child of heaven and the earth and the earth. I command this stranger, this arrow in your body that is shaking, bow in the leg, bow in the hand, bow in the voice, bow in your blood, bow in your tissue, the one in your organs, the one in your system, but one of these can enjoy your health, bow in the family, the one to fire your family, bow in your door, bow in your system. I command him now in the name of Jesus. The Bible says, if I regard iniquity in my heart, the Lord will not hear me. If there is sin in any way, if there is transgression, if there is unforgiving spirit, if there is anger in the heart, if there is pollution, if there is stain, if I am not a full of blood, if we are full, we are full of gossip and lies, if we are full of exaggeration, if we are full of evil, then Lord will not hear our prayer. And because we don't want to waste our time, the Bible says, if we regard our iniquity, he that keepeth the sin, his prayer will be an abomination in the sight of God. The same thing that you say, if we confess our sin, it will be just, it is just to forgive us all our righteousness and to cleanse us from all our evils. At this time, beloved, 
The Bible says, if my people who are called by my name, we all move themselves and we pray, even I will hear, I will hear from heaven, I will hear their yeah. land, I will deliver them, I will set them free, I will want to hear their body, I will tear their yeah. mountains, I will want to hear their mountains, I will put joy in their heart, I put laughter in their mouth, I will change their garments. They will eat the milk and honey of the land. Also, beloved, before we begin to pray, before we begin to pray, touch your land. Examine yourself. Anything in your land, anything in your soul, anything in your mind, anything whatsoever that you know will hinder you, will hinder your prayer, will hinder your voice, will make your voice to become abominable to God. All forgiveness. We don't make your prayer to be hard. But everything that you look at it, you will pray for, for me. You will pray for the Lord. God forgive me. God have mercy on me. Wash me. I don't want to pray. I don't want my prayer. I don't want my prayer to be like those who go to the river with baskets to fresh water. Don't be not with any water. It is a waste of effort. Listen to me. Listen to me. If you don't have one power point to that I'm going to raise, or I'm going to raise, go the answer. Go the answer. Listen to me. God is going to show up for somebody now. There's a place where God will need to go and show up on your behalf. Yes. Let me the consider matter over your life, over your husband, over your wife. What is happening to you is not ordinary. You are going to show up. You need to show up for me. You need to show up for you. You need to show up for your family. You need to show up for your marriage. You need to show up because of you. You are a righteous brother. You are a righteous sister. You are serving the Lord. Let me see. You need to show up for your behalf. You need to go there. Then they have concluded matter. In the corner of that man, you need to show up there. The cause of you. The of you. Get ready. We want to begin to pray now. The cause of you. Get ready. Wherever you are. Please. Please. I want to pray with you. This is not the prayer of the prayer, no. And your mind is mute. No, 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 no. In fact, when, you, when we start to pray now, you don't know no, no. In fact, oh, that it is not right for you to mute your mind. Because, because we are praying a united prayer. We are joining forces together. We are joining power together. We are joining ability together. The Bible says, how good and how pleasant. It is for brethren to pray together in it. The Bible told us in the book of Matthew chapter 18 and 18. He said it is written. We two of you shall agree. All the the prayer of the demons. Because whatever is going with you, whatever is going on in your life, enough is enough. God needs to intervene on your behalf. Here you are now. Begin, begin to, to praise God. God. Begin to worship God. He's the Almighty God. Open your mouth and praise God. Open your mouth and admire God. Open your mouth and appreciate God. God, you are the God of the whole universe. The God of all power. The Bible says God power belongs to you. Father, Father. You are a great God. You are a mighty God. You are a strong God. You are a loving God. You are a merciful God. Open your mouth and pray. 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 Open
you. He loves you. He loves me. That's why you go hear your prayer today. Open your mouth and pray. Because you are praying, because you are talking to God. The Bible says, if I regard iniquity in my heart, the Lord will not hear me. Open your mouth and pray. Blood of Jesus, the blood of the everlasting covenant. The blood has become a better thing than the blood of Abel. Anywhere there is sin, anywhere there is iniquity, anywhere there is transgression in my life today, O God, wash me. O God, touch me. O God, purify me. Wash me whiter than snow. 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 Open your mouth and talk to God. 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 Anything that can hinder me. Anything that can hinder me, oh God, put it out. 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 Oh God, wash me. Oh God, cleanse me. Oh God, purify me. Oh God, wash me. Whiter than snow. 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 Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and talk to God. Open your mouth and pray. Tell the Lord anything that can stand against me and my prayer today. Oh God, take it away. Oh God, take it away. Any unrighteousness, any sin, any backsliding, any evil. Oh God, take it away. Anything whatsoever that can stand against my prayer today. Oh God, let the blood of Jesus wash me whiter than snow. Open your mouth and fire the prayer. Open your mouth and talk to the Lord. Open your mouth and pray. Yes, yes, yes. Open your mouth and talk to God. Talk to God in prayer. Talk to God. Talk to God. We are about to start now. Yes. Talk to God. I didn't want people to stand against you on your prayer. Anything, anything was super. I don't want anything to stand against you on your prayer. Open your mouth and talk to God. 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 Oh God, I did my test in the blood. In the blood of Jesus. 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 In the blood of than the blood of Abel. The blood of the New Testament. Oh God, I immerse my heart into the blood of Jesus. Any word, any statement, any action, any reaction, anything I have done against your will. Oh God, forgive. Oh God, touch me. Oh God, wash me. Oh God, cleanse me. Take it away, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. Wash yourself. Wash your life. Wash your heart. Wash your heart. Wash your heart. Wash your life. Wash your eyes. Wash anything. Anything that can stand against you on your prayer. Pray, 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 pray. Talk to God. Talk to God in prayer. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. I didn't hear your amen, no. I didn't hear your amen, sister. Amen. Amen. We pray. Amen. Listen, beloved. I read to us when we started in Psalm 94, in verse 1. I told you the pain, the pain of the psalmist when he was writing this. And he prayed. It was actually a prayer. If the prayer was born from concern, he was not happy with what was going on in his life. The enemy surrounded him. They wanted to finish him. The enemy gathered around him. They wanted to see his head. And he was praying for vengeance. He was praying for justice. He was praying that the Lord will arise and the Lord will fight for him. He was hoping that God we come alive, we come up, brother, in his power. And God will show the enemy that he was God in his life. We want to pray like the psalmist. We are going to say exactly what he said. But listen to me. There are places God needs to show up for you. In that institution, in that workplace, in that workplace, among the managerial team, God needs to show up for you. In your village, your origin, your father's house, your mother's house, the place where you came from, God needs to show up there. Every evil that has been following, all the children in your family, they followed your brother, they followed your sister, they followed your mother, they followed your father. There is a routine, there is a cycle, an evil cycle, a bad omen that has been following you. It could be sickness, it could be affliction, it could be delay in getting married, it could be delay in getting children, it could be one thing or the other, it could be a recurring sickness, a recurring decima in your life, in your family, you are going to break loose from such change in the name of Jesus. Now, I want to pray. You are going to pray like the family. 
I want to leave you for some time more. It's not a prayer you'll be praying, you'll be keeping quiet. No. You are going to pray. You are praying for yourself. You are praying for your family. You are praying for your husband. You are praying for your wife. You are praying for your children. You are praying for your daughter. You are praying for your son. You are praying for your family. You are praying for your blood. You are praying for everything that concerns you. You are going to say like the family, you will talk to the Lord. Oh Lord! Oh Lord! Oh Lord! Oh Lord God! Oh Lord God! To whom vengeance belongeth? To whom vengeance belongeth? Oh God! To whom vengeance belongeth? Show thyself! Show thyself! Show thyself! Don't put your mouth and fire the prayer. Let God show up for you. In that river, in that ocean, in the cone of darkness, open your mouth and pray and talk to the Lord. Oh, God, show up for me. Oh, God, show up for me. Where people have concluded over my matter. Oh, God, show up. 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 Show up for me. Show up. Show up. Show up. Open your mouth and pray. Let the fire of God show up. Let the fire of God show up. Let the fire of God show up. In that river. In that river. In that river, let the fire go show up. In the money world, let the fire go show up. In that place, in that covenant of darkness, in that out of the wicked, in the synagogue of Satan, let the fire go show up there. Open your mouth and pray. Hey, sister, you are not praying. Sister, you are not praying. Brother, you are not praying. You are not talking to God. You are not talking to God. Open your mouth and pray. Fire of God. Fire of God. Fire of God. Fire of God. For my health, show up. For my health, show up. Because of me, show up. Because of my family, show up. Oh, God, show up. In that village, show up. Oh, God, show up. Oh, God, show up. Oh, God, show up. Show up for me, Lord. 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 Lord, arise, oh God. Not because of me. Glorify yourself. Manifest your power. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and fire the prayer. This sister is not praying, no. This brother is not praying. Brother, pray. Unmute yourself. No, 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 no. Don't keep quiet. Unmute yourself and pray. That's all I gather together. They have not gathered together here because of decoration. We gather there to pray. Open your mouth and fire the prayer. Open your mouth and call. Talk to the Lord. Pray like the family pray. Oh, Lord God. To whom vengeance belongs. Show thyself. Talk to God. Talk to God. Talk to the Lord. He hears prayers. He answers 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 prayers. Show thyself, show thyself, show thyself, show thyself, show yourself, show yourself on my behalf, show yourself on my behalf, show yourself on my behalf. Oh Lord, oh Lord, for me, show up for me because of me, show up, Lord, 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 show up, Lord. Show up, Lord. Fight for me. Fight for me. Deliver me from every chain. Every chain of darkness. Every ancient chain. Every ancient chain. Oh, God. Deliver me from family bondage. In the name of Jesus. Anything that held me down. Any sickness. Deliver me from sickness. Oh, God, heal me. Oh, God, deliver me. Oh, God, arise. Oh, God, fight for me. Every stranger in my body. Every stranger in my body. Sickness is a stranger. The Bible says, stranger can hear my voice and they receive from their hidden places. Every stranger in my life. my life now. Jump out of body. Jump out of my soul. In the name of Jesus.
Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We don't know what happened to uh, to the internet of Pastor Mike, but we shall continue from there. As I always Praise say, the Lord. Hallelujah. Yes. Listen, beloved. I'm going to hand up now. God just put something in my mind now. We want to pray. Somebody should pray this prayer. There is a room. I see a room. Where they are operating from. Where they are taking decision. They take the, the conclude matters over your life. Over your husband. Over your wife. Over your finance. Over your coming up. Over your rising up. Over your breakthrough. Over your health. Over your joy. Over, over your happiness. Any room where matters have been concluded. Any room where matters have been settled. They settled the matter. The concluded matter over your life already. You are going to pray the fire of the Lord will go to that room, will consume them in Jesus' name. Open your mm. mouth and pray. Any room, pray, 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 Open your mouth and pray. Any room, any room, any room. And pray any room where they are operating from in the village, in the village, in the mirror, in the mirror. Maybe they, they, they use the mirror, the mirror they are using to monitor you. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. Let that mirror catch fire. Let that mirror catch fire. I set on fire, 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 my situation cannot remain like this. Oh God, I need a change. I need a change. They change by fire. 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 Open your mouth and pray. Sister, pray, 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 pray. We may not have this thing again, no. We may not have this thing again, no. Open your mouth and talk to the Lord. Open your mouth and talk to the Lord. Every evil cycle in my family. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. The same thing happened to your mother. It happened to your grandmother. It happened to your great grandmother. Now it is happening to you. Reject it. Reject it. Reject it. Reject it. Reject it. Reject it. Now go. Amen. 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 Yes. Stop not. I see you where you are. 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 I command the tongue of God. I command the fire of God. I command the heart of God. I strike you now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Scatter. 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 In the name of Jesus. Yes. If you if you if you comment, if you comment, then they look like a jack. They used to find you. Every road, every chain, they used to find you. They tell your family, they tell your children, they tell your husband, they tell your wife, they tell anything that belongs to you. I command the chain. I command the road. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I set you free. In the name of Jesus. You are God for fear. You are dream. 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 In Jesus' name. My father. I command 
Feel in your body. That's in your body. That's in your body. That's your body. That's in your body. In your chest. In your heart. In your brain. In your chest. In your head. In your eye. Anywhere it is hiding. You're stranger. 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 We're going to glory to you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Over to Father Matthew, please. Uh, we continue in that trend. Um, I want us to know that our prayer is no more like uh, I'm going to prayer meeting. Bye-bye. You come last Thursday, there's no change. You come this Saturday, there's no change. You come last week, there's no change. No, it is no more like that. It's a prayer of uh, testimony. It's where we are praying and we are seeing changes. And I pray by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ today will not be an exception in Jesus' name. Um, Amen. When the pastor started, he started with the common thing. You know, there's nobody that does not know ABC. So if you are telling me that you don't know the story of Pharaoh, when Moses went to him that, oh, let my people go. You will, uh, I know you are not a good student of the Bible, but every one of us, we know that story. Uh, from that uh, angle, I now want you to look at yourself. Uh, I, the way I'm looking, like a, a big woman sitting down on a chair, on a very small, uh, I remember when we were in my town then, uh, it's, a, it's a Yoruba town, we call it Ogumasho. Uh, you, I, I'm looking at a woman, very big. You will sit down on the on the, that small, small that small uh, seat. I don't know. Then we say stand up. It's very difficult. It's very difficult. And that's how devil have done to many online. That have done to us. That he gave us a small, 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 small chair. And then the problem was just too big. To him, the problem was too big. Then let us sit down there. And then we are saying, far out, let us go. To get us become a problem. To stand up become a problem. But by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, you are going, you are getting up today in Jesus' name. I'm going, I'm getting up today in Jesus' name. And then, what I'm, this is what I'm looking at. Yes, they, they, in Thursday, they have started that uh, area. And then I want you to you I want you to look at yourself. I said last Thursday, I said you have a dream. And the dream has not been accomplished. I'm not deceiving you. And you too, you know you are not deceiving me. Two of us can, we cannot be lying to one another. Because if the dream has been answered, you see the prayer meeting, we will have been more than hundred. You see the prayer meeting. We won't have lacked somebody to sponsor us. You see, this prayer meeting we will have been somebody that is because of him, because of him, people are coming to this prayer meeting. Why? Because they have heard about his ministry. So, and then we, 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 I've, I've talked about financial, I've talked about the, the spiritual, I've talked about the, the, the physical. Now, I want you to look at yourself. I said there was a dream you have. And you have not been accomplished. There's a dream uh, up that has not been accomplished. Do you want me to tell you the dream? Yes. Uh, I'm not a nurse, but I'm working as a as a medical uh, aid. Uh, aid. But if, if you get to a time when you are not you are not going further in your academics, like maybe you have BSc nurse, you have master's nurse, you can't go more than Anyway, all what they are going to be doing is to give you five cents increment every every year, just like five for every year. And then, and then, my dream is, Almighty Father, I want to be big. I want money. I, mean, I want to organize a crusade to praise your name before I say bye bye to this world. Then, with the Bible that is coming into my hand, I can I do that. You, my brother, there, you are going to be a good contractor. You want to be traveling here and there. You want to be doing this so that 
about the power, not because you want to do as a pride, but so that you can fulfill destiny. You, my mommy, there, you know, you know what you are talking about. That if or if my husband is in this condition, father, raise my head, raise my hand up, or you raise the head of my family, so that we are not going to be struggling to sponsor these students. You, my dear pastor, there. And you know, many times, initially when we started, I called. I said, oh, my dear brother, you are so powerful in prayer. This ministry is upon your head. Let's start another prayer. Maybe on Thursday. Different. My belief mm -hmm. is that by the time we started, yes, with the gift God has given to you, many people will be coming. Then, well, I mean, then in the psychologist, there was something they said. That when you are thinking you can become this, automatically you can become it. It's just like, the, because if you cannot become it, you will not be thinking about it. It's just like the door has not been opened. But by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ, all things that touch us down, the God is losing them today in Jesus' name. I don't know. Mm -hmm. You know, recently I went through things. And then some people during all my this trial, some people were praying for me. And then, then we call a man. You know, people, I don't know people love me so much. Then we were discussing with a man. And I said, you know what? Yes, we prayed yesterday, but do you know what I say? They tied me with the Talmo uh, Wualan uh, Takon. Who can speak English, please? Cobweb. Cobweb. That they tied in with cobweb. I, you know, people have been always saying something. I don't know that. Then you will be thinking, how can they tie somebody with cobweb? That's a spiritual work. So in all areas, they tied any one of us to that we will not go beyond. We will just hear the we will just hear the promise, but the promise will not is not going to be fulfilled. But we will just continue to be planning, but the plan will not be executed. That we will just continue to be thinking, but we will not carry it out physically. You will call upon the name of the Lord. Every one of us. I say yes. I want to go beyond this stage. By the power in the blood of Jesus Christ, the power you give to the Israelites for Father to let them go for any financial situation that is starting me down, for any physical situation that is starting me down, for any material situation that is starting me down, for any financial situation that is starting me down, for any social situation that is starting me down, for any industry that is starting me down. I pray by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, Father. Let me go. Open your mouth and call upon the name of the Lord. Call upon oh the name of the Lord. Call upon the name of the Lord. Call upon the name of the Lord. Call upon the name of the Lord. The name of the Lord in the blood of Jesus Christ. What is that thing that is tightening me down? I said I want to be a business owner. I will not be talking about it, but I've never achieved it. I want to be an evangelist. I want to be an evangelist. But see, there's no power. I don't know what is going on in the city. You have shown me a way of business. That if I lay my hand upon you, I lay my hand upon you, I can be prosperous. If for me, I don't know what to do. I just say this. So, I don't know what to do. Do you know what I want to do? Think you are not included. Do not think it's only the pastors. 
Pastor, do, I want you to think that if you can select a leader and they let Israelites out of the out of the out of the Pharaoh, I'm one of them. And I've told you the reason that you cannot tell me any one of us are not one of them. Then we, some of us that we are not leading, that we have been participating very well. Do not forget what the Bible, including the children. Pharaoh released them. So by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, Father of our life this morning is releasing us in Jesus' name. I want you to Amen. take up that particular thing. What Israel needs is Moses for them to be released. What you, do you need for you to be released? Is it wisdom? Is it knowledge? Is it understanding? Is it money? Is it people that are going to guide you? Is it people that are going to see you through? Is it what you or the other you need? For you to be re- for you to be released, God has sent Moses to the Israelites to release them out of the heart of the hand of Pharaoh. By the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, He's going to send whatever you need to you to be released in Jesus' name. Claim your right and call upon the name of the Lord. Tell God, do not be The Almighty Father, this is what I need. I need people. I need money. I need this. I need this to be able to be released. I need doctor. I need medication. I need medication. I need What's your effort to do? I need money. I need wisdom. I need knowledge. I need understanding. Whatsoever you need to be released, call upon the name of the Lord. Why are you that send money?
by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, we want uh, every one of us. We have determined. We are not many online today, uh, which is uh, which I always. I don't want to say I'm I'm okay with this. God will make us a, a career of the gospel in Jesus' name. I want to encourage us to be inviting other people, follow other people. But I want to, so, there are somebody online we can join, some of us that we are co host Please, allow the person to come in. Maybe the person that can come in. Look very well. Uh, all of us, Pastor Mike, we are telling you by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, and if all, by the grace of the Lord, including you, including your family, we have not reached our destination. And this is what we want you to call, for us to present to Almighty God, Almighty God this morning. That he himself, he saw Israel that they are, they are, they are suffering. He said, I've had their fault. Crying. Now, he has had our fault. Many of us, we have done all what we can do to go beyond where we are today. But we need Moses from Almighty God to, to set us free from the hand of that Pharaoh. We now call upon the name of the Lord on our behalf. Wherever our Moses is, whosoever is our Moses, either he has become blind, God should open his eyes. Who God should let him walk. Our house, God should give us a holy map. Yeah. You know, a, a, a person can just be talking to you. It may not be money. And they will direct you. And the way will be open. And so, whatsoever. That, and if it is money that person needs to give to us, the way other people have been receiving money easily. You know, in the other religion, you know what they do? And they will give them loan. Without profit, without uh, interest. There's people in our midst that can do that too. But I want you to present all our ambition to the Al Almighty God. Even if that ambition don't want to glorify the name of the Lord, just because we are belonging to God, we are praying. That ambition will glorify the name of the Lord in Jesus' name. That one oh, second, second, whatsoever, all thing that it has been used. To block us that by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, this morning God will raise it up in Jesus' name. You that want to go send it right some it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not it, it is a good business. I know when I when, when we are in the world, they call one more woman, the the the, the man of the world, sing to fit for him, or is it, or, or, or father, or father right. We too we can do that. We have seen one of our our leader, family. That you, you are doing, that's nothing. Yes, you are saying it. For some of us that want to be going from one country to another, you have seen many people, they don't rest. All because God opened way to them. They don't have to eat. For me, I want to be set by and sending this thing and the other. And God can still do it. For some of our pastors, we want them to be great evangelists. God can still do it. So to not, do not disturb us, let's go call, um, Pastor Mike will call upon the name of the Lord. All Pharaoh of our life, that still holding us, but by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, whatsoever our Moses is, what we sent it today to set us free from it in Jesus' name. Amen. Let us pray. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. Our Father and our God, we want to thank you so much for the way you have led us to pray in today's prayer meeting. Father, I bring everyone before you now. O oh God of heaven and earth, I pray, Lord, that the same power that made a way in the Red Sea for the students of Israel, Amen. the same power that made a way in the wilderness for the students of Israel, O oh God, I pray, let that same power of God Make way for every one of us in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Oh Lord, I am praying. Amen. My father, my father, my father, the carriers of heaven and the earth, men thereof, these garments of sin that I'm looking up, 
upon this topic. In the name of Jesus, I fear it in Jesus' name. My Amen. God. Holy God, I am praying for this sister, this brother, mighty God. He has told us that there is a motive for everyone. Oh Lord, I pray. How we need to meet that Moses, we don't know. How we are going to get to meet that Moses, we don't know. But Lord, you are the one that made the way for the children of Israel, and you led them, oh God, until they go to their promised land. Oh God, I pray. All the connections that we need, all the people that we need, that we help us to fulfill and bring. Oh God, I pray. All the priests. The priest that will connect us to our, our place of destiny. Oh God, I pray, a hand that will pull us out and will take us to the place of our destiny. Oh God, I pray, the vision of God, the plan of God, the strategy of God, the things that we need, oh God, that will make us fulfill in life. Oh God, I pray, open the windows of heaven, Lord, and help us connect us, channel our path, oh God, to the place of our destiny. In Jesus' name, my Amen. God, in this God, we are praying. We are asking you, oh God, for this season, oh Lord, I am praying. Now, now, the, the first seven days, oh God, the first seven days. Oh God, before seven days, testimony, oh God, that is undeniable. Testimony Amen. that is unspeakable. Testimony that is indescribable. Testimony that, oh God, oh Lord, that is too loud to be covered. That is too loud to be covered. Oh God, testimony that people will hear and they will come and how did this happen? Oh God, I pray. Such a testimony, this to this brother, this to this sister, this to me, this to every one of us. Amen. Come to the door, and only thou let Come to the door, and only thou let me. Come to the door, and only thou let me. I am praying that the mercy of God, the mercy that will take us over to our place of destiny. The mercy that will make all the people in life. The mercy that sings this song. The mercy of oh God that blesses a man like a very dog. Oh God, I know what is talking about you today. The mercy that will make us a reference point. The mercy that will make people to be referring to us. The that will make the flesh. Oh God, I pray. That kind of mercy in the name of the Father. In the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Ghost, for everyone who is here now, even those who are not here now, those who are supposed to be here for one reason or the other, they are not going in order. That kind of mercy, the mercy that comes from God, that comes from the throne of mercy, that comes from the throne of God, that comes from the tabernacle of the order. Oh, God, I pray. Everyone pray there today. Oh, Lord, we see the mercy in our name. Amen. Thank you, Heavenly Father. We will honor the glory to you. Blessed be your name, Lord. Thank, Thank you for what you have done. Testimonies we abide forever and ever. Thank Amen. You, Jesus, mighty name, we pray. Amen. 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 For everyone of all that online, I just want to advise please do not fold your hands. Whatever come, up, come to your mind, start planning about it. And God will help us in Jesus' name. I will have not been a, a, a very... Uh, a, a very... Our time has gone. Just a very little uh, testimony. My daughter... I, 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 this may be secret. Maybe I'm just used to... I mean, not that I'm exposing her. Uh, just to advise... Just to, uh, uh, to, to cancel all. Just to, uh, to advise all. You know, he, he always buy all these beads, B-E-A-D-S. 
Then, uh, when he buy it, he will use it to make key orders. He will buy key orders and then he will be sending it. You won't believe one day my, my daughter make $100. Just because during the holiday, another one, he make $36. Another one, he make $12. Yesterday, he make $56. Since he started, she has been making money. And now look at it. It's 11 years old though. 11 years old. All because he didn't fold his hand. So any little thing God has put to our mind, please do not say it is too small. Uh, and God is going to help us in Jesus' name. Another good example. Amen. You see our YouTube. We have more than 23,000 people on the YouTube. I remember when we started first. A pastor, but I'm very sorry to mention it. The leader said, I should brought it down. Even in Lagos, before we started, I will have no DJ, I will have faced DFA to face because of this YouTube program. Because I said, if they can stop me, then if GCS does not need to stop me before I stop. But by the power and the blood of Jesus, I keep moving. When it was during scoding, not during the scoding, by the grace of the Lord, we have more than 23,000 uh, subscribers. I think 24,000 subscribers in our YouTube now. What about if I stop? A lot of things like that. So, uh, please, any little thing God brought to your mind, do not lose focus. It is my will that we have millionaire. Where are you millionaire? Starlet millionaire. The, you, the, the, the ministry will be will be expanded in your hand in Jesus' name. So, Amen. Is, and by the power and the blood of Jesus, every one of us will get our destination in Jesus' name. God Amen. Amen. Accept destiny that is not yours. God has given every one of us, every one of us, Recently, I was talking to our, our our arrow. I said, that's why my disadvantage. I'm very sorry to say this thing online. I'm very sorry to say this thing online. But please bear with me. I'm just using you to encourage yourself. You know Pastor Seriki in, in Belgium. You know Pastor Adedeji in, in Britain. Many of them, they call me just to say, ah, your YouTube, this one has problems. This one has no problem. This is a big, big goal in people's life. But because I'm putting the little thing I have, I'm putting them together. I doubt it. If many of them, they, they, the way they know my name. So please, I'm begging you. Do not fold your hand. Any little thing you can do, please do it. And God has answered prayer. This too, he has set us free from the hand of our, 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 our the Pharaoh. He will set us, he will set us free totally in Jesus' name. Your testimony Amen. will be full. My testimony will be full in Jesus' name. Please take a step. It's going. By the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, you will get your destination in Jesus' name. Let's share the grace. By the grace of our Jesus Lord, Jesus Lord Jesus Christ, love of God, and the fellowship of the Spirit, be in this now and forever. Amen. 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 Holy, be in the message of all of us, the grace of our Lord, and the grace of the Lord, and the grace of the Lord, and the grace of the Lord. Amen. Thank you, sir. Amen. God bless you, sir. Thank you, Thank you, God. Thank, Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. God bless you. Thank you, man.